ever since I can remember, I've always kind of made stuff out of bits of cardboard and things like that from watching Blue Peter and Art Attack. It probably started from playing with Lego, I think, when I was a young kid, and from Lego onto boxes and empty toilet roll and sellotape and things like that. When, when people are talking to me about the way I cut patterns out and stuff, they're always wondering where I come from, if it was a family thing. And um, my mother's a hairdresser, my grandma's a seamstress, so they've always like cut stuff out with scissors and all that. So maybe I've had something from them too. My granddad looked after us a lot while my mother was working and my father was working. And he used to teach us how to make like horse whips out of pull rushes. And um, yeah, he used to make lots of little castles and like cowboy saloons and that up in his garage. I wanted to be a cartoonist, drawing comics, and from there I got interested in animation. Um, I started an animation degree and sort of dropped out after the first day. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. I wanted to carry on playing with bits of cardboard and that. <laughs> <laughs> I lived at home throughout my degree, so it was my first time to um, move out of the house and come to London as well to live so it's kind of like being kicked into the deep end when you don't know how to swim because <laughs> uh, I didn't even know how to work a washing machine before I got here. <laughs> My work in the show is heads built out of cardboard based on John Merrick the Elephant Man. Um, there's going to be a series of heads which are meant to be sort of self-portraits, as if um, John Merrick was looking at himself and how he sees himself with his elephantitis. Um, a little bit like Rembrandt's portraits, 